very good morning friends so today again here uh, we are just trying to complete the part related to the mechanical properties and their testing so in the last lecture that we have seen about the properties uh, as well as the testing part related to the bending and torsion test so in case of bending test that we have seen how the components are undergone in some sort of that flexural loading conditions and we have calculated the bending stresses through it and in case of torsional loading condition that we have seen for the brittle as well as that ductile material how the torsional test has been carried out now the further pass part related to the testings of the material is that here uh, the hardness of the any material that we have to calculate now first of all you just try to understand the what is the meaning of hardness so the hardness is nothing but the resistance offered by the material for the indentation or any kind of the penetration so if we want to penetrate something inside the material basically that material is try to resist it now if that resistance is more we can say the material is harder now we will just take one example uh, just to understand the hardness uh, so basically in our home we are having some sort of that mirrors so basically the material of that particular mirrors are glass and you just try to do one thing you just try to penetrate something inside that particular glass if you will try to penetrate inside some something inside the glass it is not having any kind of that indentation on the glass but if it goes on increasing on the force might be some cracks maybe gets developed but we cannot be able to observe any kind of that penetration or indentation inside that particular glass so basically the glass is very very hard material so this is related to we are just going to uh, do some sort of that practice to calculate the hardness for different kind of that metals so basically according to every person that hardness the meaning of that hardness is somewhat different so in case of that metallurgist any kind of that metal who is doing or working as a metallurgist he is saying that this particular definition that is resistance to the indentation or permanent deformation it is just hardness if we we'll consider about the design engineer according to him the measure of flow stresses it is related to the hardness that mechanical engineer may say that resistance to the wear it is the hardness so the different meaning is there according to the person to person but basically related to the metallurgy we can say that hardness is nothing but just to offer some sort of that resistance for the permanent deformation or any kind of that indentation so these are the some types of the test that is the static indentation test we have to do that indenter is there for that particular test so different kind of that indenters are there ball indenter diamond cone or pyramid so we are just offering the force on the material for the testing purpose on that particular metal so relationship between the test force and uncovered area of the depth of the indentation that we are going to observe so basically in our syllabus the three kind of that hardness test that we are just going to complete that is the rockwell brinell and wickers hardness test so these are the three test that we will see in the further lectures so first of all whatever may be the brinell hardness test is concerned so what is the brinell hardness test or how it can be able to perform on the material that we will see so this is one kind of that method or one kind of the testing method we can say which we are just going to conduct or just to identify the hardness of any kind of that metal so this is one of one of the method there are many more methods are there just to calculate the hardness but the brinell it is one of the method and basically which kind of that uh, functioning of this particular testing that we will see so the brinell hardness testing consists of the indenting the test material with a 10 mm diameter of hardened steel so here 
that we are using the ball of 10 mm which is either of the hardened steel or the carbide made up with the material and this test we are just performing with a load of 500 to 3000 kg for 10 to 30 seconds so basically depends on material to material this load will be gets selected so basically for, to conduct the Brinell hardness test we are required the load minimum of minimum of 500 kg and maximum we can be able to apply the 3000 kg load so this, this load is applied for 10 to 30 seconds so minimum of 10 second load we have to apply and maximum up to 30 second we have to apply the load now when we have to select the 3000 uh, 3, kg load so basically that this is called as a full load and it is normally applied for the iron or steel for the 10 to 15 seconds so for the material like iron or the material like steel up to 10 to 15 seconds we have to apply this particular load and if we want to avoid some sort of an excessive indentation for any softer material we have to go with the 500 kg to maximum up to 1500 kg load if the material is very soft because if the material is soft if we try to make some indentation because of that softer nature if we will apply the heavy load that is 3000 kg load that is the material will be gets permanently deformed or it may be causes some sort of that stress concentration factors and because of that it may be gets failed so this load maximum up to 30 seconds we can be able to apply now the Brinell hardness number is calculated by dividing the applied load with the surface area of the indentation so in the next part we will see what is the formula for Brinell hardness test now after this particular test we uh, that particular uh, theory part in the last again we will see how that basically this test has been carried out through one of the video so basically this is the machine so this is just a schematic diagram so later on in the latter part we will see the actual machine so how basically this machine is manufactured or what are the different kind of that components that we will see over here so you just try to understand these things so this is basically the microscope it is there so this microscope we are using just to identify how much penetration is there so this is the lever which is used to apply the load these are the typical loads so that lo I already I have mentioned this load is varied from almost 500 uh, kg to 3000 kg and according to that particular material we are varying this particular load this is the hand wheel where we are using this hand wheel just to move this particular anvil either in the upward direction or in the lower direction so this is the this mechanism is performed by using this elevating screw so this is the elevating screw so we can be able to up this particular anvil or we can be able to down this particular anvil and here we have to mount the indenter so indenter means what the ball indenter what I have said so that ball indenter we have to mount over here so after applying the load this particular ball indenter will apply the load on this particular material and this is the microscope where we have to observe the indenter diameter how much it has been created the indentation so that diameter we have to observe with through this microscope so this particular phenomena i will explain in the next slide so you just please remember this particular schematic diagram this is the lever this lever is useful to apply this particular load on this particular surface area so on the anvil we have to mount that particular component or either that particular material so we can be able to make the indentation so this is through this you just try to understand this is the ball diameter which is having the so here it has been shown that d1 d2 so uh, normally that d1 d2 is not uh, much difference over there after the some sort of the indentation might be there are the chances of that maybe slight indentation may cause on this particular ball so here this particular diagram is very important to try to understand so this is suppose a very flat material that flat surface of that particular material and when this ball is indenting inside this 
so this will be a d small d so small d is the average impression diameter of the indentation so how much is the indentation that has been shown by the small d this capital d is the diameter of the ball indenter so this is the diameter of the ball indenter and this p is applied force so this is the test load either you have to take this p or l or f anything for the load purpose you may say uh, or you may take in this particular formula l or you may take f also so uh, in every book this particular formula is very similar but only the notations they have used either l or either f also for this particular p so this is to calculate the brenel hardness number this is the formula that by considering all those areas and all so this formula has been generated that is p upon pi g divided by 2 into bracket d minus under root of d square minus small d square so when we are putting all those terms in this so after conducting the test initially we have to set the load so that load we have to take on as an p then d is the diameter of ball so already these two terms we are knowing before conducting the test and this small d we are knowing after conducting the test and we have to put the value of d so this particular d small d we have to measure through this microscope so here we can be able to see how much is the small d and after putting this we are getting the its brinell hardness number so bhn in the sense Brinell B for the Brinell, H for the hardness, and N for the number. So this is the BHN. It is called as a BHN. So this is. So in this, just see in this particular formula, they have taken as an F term over here, and this pi d by two. So this this two term will be comes over here. So any modification you can be able to do. So this is again one of the schematic sketch. That is the here they have shown the specimen, and this is the indentation. so this will be a capital d is the diameter of that particular ball and this is the material so in this particular uh, circle all that material that indenter it is shown over here so this is the different kind of that material is there bronze aluminum or any cast iron steel so these are the materials where we have to conduct the test on this particular material so that indenter we are applying on this particular material so we are getting the hardness number of that particular material so diameter of that particular indentation left in the test material is the measured with the low powers microscope so this is the small d that we have to measure with the microscope the diameter of the impression is the average of two readings at a right angles so basically minimum two readings we have to take because sometimes maybe uh, because that's particular with the some sort of that manufacturing defects maybe that reading may be gets very variation in that particular readings so we have to observe some sort of that closeness of the reading if suppose that uh, indentation diameter if somewhere we are getting 6.2 somewhere we are suppose for the second reading if we are getting the 6.3 so uh, basically both are very similar we can say and we have to take that particular but if suppose that diameter is, that diameter variation is too much suppose if you are getting somewhere 5 mm indentation and for the second reading if it is 7 or 8 mm likewise then we have to conduct the third reading because sometimes because of that manufacturing defects maybe this kind of that things may be happen but not always very for the very few cases so basically the brinell hardness number table we can be able to simplify by determining the bhn number so here this how that brinell hardness that readings has been written so this is here through this we can be able to uh, understand through this so basically it has been written like this or revealed like this 75 hb tan 530 so what is what it means exactly when you are observing this kind of that readings for any kind of that material so the 75 is indicating basically that 75 is its hardness number and this test is conducted by using the 10 mm diameter so this tain it is showing that this particular tain it is showing that the diameter of the ball indenter this 500 shows that the load applied how much kg is load applied and this 30 indicates the how many how much time we have applied that particular load for this is applied for the 30 seconds so 
this will be the style of the reading or writing style for the Brennell hardness number that is 75 Hb it is the hardness number 10 is the diameter of the ball indenter 500 it is the load applied in terms of kg and 30 is the time how much we have for how much time we have applied that particular load so these are the indenters so basically 444 hb that is 2.9 mm diameter of the indentation may be there the special hardness steel balls up to 500 hp it has been used so sometimes that tungsten carbide balls which are that uh, HB varies from 444 to 627. So these kind of that uh, different indentations or indenters has been used to conduct the hardness testing. Now how that load selection is carried out. So the size of the impression it has been varied from 2.5 to 6 mm. So that is 25 to 60 percent of particular that ball diameter. So according to that, that size of that impression, it will be we are getting according to the diameter of that ball. If it is 25 percent means 10 mm is the diameter of the ball. So basically we are getting the indentation from 2.5 to 6 mm. Basically it is 25 to 60 percent and the specimen thickness that is 10 times the depth of the indentation so whatever the thickness we are getting so we are preferring normally the flat surfaces to conduct the test now here you can be able to understand how that indentation is carried out so this is basically force we are applying and this will be a indenter and here we are getting just see so here we are getting the indentation so this is the this is the small diameter what we are getting over here this is the small diameter so i think you are understood through this okay so this is one more that di diagram so how that minor load has been applied over here so this is basically this particular test is carried out for the uh, that Rockwell number. Now here this particular small d it has been varied from 2.5 to 6 mm. This will be a indentation we are getting on that particular flat surface. So this is the ball diameter of 10 mm and normally this will be offers depends on the hardness of the material. The, if the material is too much hard that indentation is small and we are getting the indentation of 2.5 mm and if the material is very soft then we are maximum up to 6 mm indentation we can be able to get for the softer material so which kind of that material that has to be tested the Brennell ball makes the deepest and widest indentation therefore the test averages the hardness over a wider amount of material this will be more accurately accounted for the multiple grains so the wider range of that material uh, we can be able to take for this particular testing so any material that has been preferred with the BHN so this method is the best for achieving the bulk or micro hardness of the material so these are the some advantages of this particular uh, that testing that particularly those materials with the heterogeneous structure so that depends on the structure of the material also we are preferring this kind of the test the material like cast iron or non-ferrous materials so all the steels except some sort of that case hardener because if the case hardener it is there we are not preferring for those that BHN and these are the testing machines so basically the dead weight testing machine or hydraulic testing machine or pneumatic testing machine has been used to carry out the test so this is just a uh, actuation method hydraulic or pneumatic or some sort of that dead weight, dead weight. So this is just actuation method for the machine. Basically, that phenomena is very similar. And uh, laboratory tester high with a high degree of accuracy also has been used just to carry out this particular test. So here we will just see how the Brennell hardness test setup 
is there so this is the brinell hardness testing machine so this is normally made up with the casting this is here we can be able to see this is the microscope which we have shown these are the load variations so this is the anvil then here we have to mount the indenter and this is the surface where we have to keep our this is just here you can be able to see this is the material and some sort of that indentation we have seen over here so on the different kind of that surface we can be able to take the reading so just try to understand here at the bottom you can be able to see the lever just to apply the load now in our diagram it has been shown at the upper side so don't worry about it according to the arrangement this positions may be gets varied so basically this is uh, made up with some sort of that casting and basically this base has been created with the casting and then the remaining arrangements has been made over here so this is the indenter so basically the ball indenter or some sort of the diamond indenter is also used for the rockwell test so normally that ball indenter has been used to, to carry out the test so here we can be able to see how so this is the machine with a brenner and weakers hardness uh, that for to conduct the hardness testing so both the testing uh, what we can say that arrangements has been made in the single machine itself because only in the weaker test only that load conditions and the indenter is varying so here we can be able to see on the same surface so for the weakers hardness test different kind of that here is the weakers that these and this is the brinell so the loading conditions are different for the brinell and different for the weakers so here whatever may be the load is there that has been valid so 3000 kg in the sense here that has to be converted into the kg now that he is taking some sort of that anvil in the upward direction so where we have to keep the material now that material has been kept so this is the flat surface material then he is mounting that particular ball indenter to carry out the test now he is taking the anvil up and then after carry out that particular test this is the microscope where we are getting some sort of an adjustments so initially we have to set the microscope for the zero reading and then after getting the indentation on that particular surface then we are getting that particular depth on those on that particular material so this is just uh, simply how that indentation we are getting by penetrating all those we are getting the indentation on that particular surface so basically what are the calculations so here one example it is given how that particular calculation has been carried out so basically that brinell hardness number this is the formula that we have seen now suppose this is one example what is the brinell hardness for the specimen with an indentation of 5 mm is produced with a 3000 kg applied load so here two so that bottom two has been came over here load is 3000 kg so 2 into 3000 already that ball indenter it is given that is 10 mm and the indentation that is of 5 mm indentation we have got 
So this number we are getting that through the calculation that is 142.6 kg mm square. So I hope you have just understood all those concepts about the Brennell hardness testing. Now in the practicals we have to perform actually that Brennell hardness testing and this exactly this particular theory we have to apply in the our lab. So you can be able to understand how the DHN is calculated for the different material. So on the next lecture we will go with the Rockwell testing method and thereafter we will cover the Vickers testing method. So I hope you have enjoyed this particular lecture. Thank you very much.